Okay, now you're wondering why Dr. Kassar is holding this big bowl of 300 million year old Himalayan rock salt. I'm going to show you a real cool invention. I just came up with this. I've been using this for about six months because I didn't want to show you until I found out that it actually is going to stabilize and stay preserved for as long as I want to keep it in the jar. This is the blue-green algae sole salt. Look at the color of this stuff. And it's not just salt. This salt is special salt. It's high magnesium, high silicon, high alkaline pH, and you can make it into a very spicy salt, which is what I love. And we have all our ingredients right here. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very simple. I buy the salt in like 22 pound bags from Earthshift. I use this, I mean, this is one of the best ways. This is one of the liquids of vitality. Again, this is what it looks like when you get finished here. You can see how the rocks are on top and that's the salt. And all we do is pour in the blue-green algae base water. And in one day, you've got yourself a transmutation of the water turns to salt and the salt turns to water. This is what's called sole. Sole is a, it's a 26% maximum concentration that the salt can, can actually dissolve into the water or the water dissolve into the salt because it's not water anymore and it's not salt. This actually has a DC current charge, which means that now you have very much a conductive salt, and that's the reason why you want salt, because it's got full of electrolytes. Not only that, but this salt has its B vitamins, amino acids, and all your uh, different types of, of phytonutrients uh, that really uh, uh, are, are absorbed uh, into the salt, phytonutrients, and you've got your sodium chloride with over 75 different types of trace minerals in it. Okay, so let's show you how to do this. Very simple. All you need is a jar. You don't do this in plastic and you don't mix this with metal. So we just fill the jar and you fill the jar all the way up. The salt, remember, is going to turn into the water. The water is going to turn into the salt. It will stop. You, it's not going to all dissolve in there. It's only going to dissolve itself as much as it can. Once you use this much of the salt, just add some more of the blue-green and the salt will start to melt into the water and the water will melt into the salt. It takes about one day for this process to happen. So we just fill it up just like this, remember, and it lasts forever, it preserves everything and this is the best salt to use. This is the salt that I use. One of the liquids of vitality is to take about 15 drops of this and put it in a container about this much uh, with blue-green or any one of the, actually, uh, any one of the liquids. And what the salt does is actually add a lot of electrolytes, but it also really sanitizes the intestinal tract. I wouldn't use any other salt but a closed mind salt. So now we're going to use part concentrate. The concentrate uh, I like to use is because it uh, really puts in the B vitamins. Remember, if you're a vegetarian, you're lacking B12. You're lacking a lot of vitamins if you're not chewing on bones or you're not eating flesh. So if you're a vegetarian and you want to be a healthy vegetarian, then you'd last want to look like what's called the white and pasty vegetarian because that's not the way you need to look like. It just says that you're lacking some things in your physiology because once you change over to a plant-based diet, you got to add some things to your side of the fence over here because you have a whole different, different system here and it's hard to digest plants in the beginning. The salt helps your body conduct and makes your body more energetic. So you just add the water, very simple. We uh, put in, I'm going to put in about uh, uh, a tablespoon of the magnesium chloride because we want to turn this into a high magnesium salt. So this comes in a large container too, but we're going to put in, oh, one, eh, about that much, about a tablespoon and a half. Uh, the silicon before I used to use, because we used to try to get, you try to get silicon, great. It tastes like fish. Remember, crystals, uh, this salt right here, they're all, they're all hard and they're, they're, they're compressed. 
This is a crystal salt, similar to this crystal. This has formation, that's why this salt is healthy. Regular sea salt does not have formation. It doesn't have structure to it. The best structure to have in your salt or anything is structured, pre-structured. So this silica doesn't taste and has no taste at all. What a magical, magical thing to be able to ingest silica and not let it taste like fish because that's what the other one used to taste like. So I used to put silicon in my other salt before, but no one liked it because it tastes like fish. So I'm going to put in about four tablespoons of the silica. You can even put in more because you're only using small amounts of the salt. Um, I put in one drop of the fulvic acid and this just helps homogenize all the good stuff we just put in there. One or two drops. And if we want to now, oops, spice it up. Oops, and you don't have to do anything here. You just sort of mush it around a little bit. It'll transmutate itself. Now, I like spicy salt. You can see how it's actually starting to bubble and you can see things starting to react in there, okay? We have a potion. This is a super salt. Now, I'm gonna make it so it's a little spicier and you can either push them in without opening them up because they're less uh, spicy. I'm gonna push these ones in, make sure I don't get them in my eyes. These are very spicy. And this is called a ghost chili. And these, we grow on the property. I just pulled these off the, the trees there. And this is the hottest chili, or one of the hottest chilies in the world. This thing is dangerously hot, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break that one open. We're just gonna put that in there. Now, uh, the best thing to do, and the easiest thing to do, is use an organic chili, because a lot of the chilies, if you don't know where you're buying them from, they're full of pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and fungicides, and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna make this into a super spice, because remember, you only use a few drops. Instead of using spicy things on your food, now you've got the spice in your salt. So I'm going to put in two of these nice little, probably uh, half teaspoons. And so now we've got run salt, spicy, super spicy salt. And it'd be nicer to have a little bigger container, uh, but this is what we got right now. And it'll all congeal here, especially with a little bit of the fulvic, because the fulvic helps dissolve everything. It helps break things down to a smaller structure, or break things apart. Um, that's the end of the sole salt, but not sole salt as you see, and you, you should look this up on the internet. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. This is the way I do it. Remember, no metal. All we've done is taken the traditional sole salt and we've made it into super salt. We've added magnesium, we've added silicon, and we've added a few drops of fulvic acid. I've put in also, um, and also you can use, if you don't have the big, uh, the, the big rocks, you can use the fine ground. Just make sure that what you're using for salt is not, not anything but stone ground, because most of these are machine ground. Everything we sell here, these are all hand mined. They're not mined with, with tractors and, and uh, a lot of objects that drip diesel and things like that, because a lot of the salt, beware. That's, uh, I think, uh, everything we wanted to show you on this video, but this is one of the best inventions that I've come up with just in the last few months. So this is a new addition to our household. I don't even have any other salt. And you can put it in one of these little spray bottles so you can get fine spray on everything because it's hard to go ahead and put drops on everything. Oh, it's too salty. So you just give it a spray. And you can see it stays blue, beautiful blue. Important reminder. All information and ideas are for informational purposes only and are in no way intended as medical advice or as a substitute for medical counseling. Earthshift Products, Dr. Robert Kassar, all of their partners, affiliates, and subsidiaries will not be held accountable for the use or misuse of the information presented therein. This information is not intended as medical advice. The authors, publishers, and speakers of this work are not medical doctors and do not recommend the use of mineral-deficient foods, drugs, or medicines 
to achieve beauty and to alleviate health challenges. Because there is always some risk involved, all persons involved with the development and distribution of this information are not responsible for any adverse effects or consequences of any kind resulting from the use or misuse of any suggestions or procedures described on our website or Earthshift Live radio talk show or therein.